We have the Miss World Philippines 2022, Gwendolyn Bernal. Alison, where can I start? Since day one, your smile just lights up any room that you walk in. And I found a friend and a sister in her. I'm extremely proud of how far she's come. And I know that she'll make the Philippines so, so proud. She's determined, passionate, extremely talented. I mean, have you seen her talent performance during Day to Night? It's amazing. Give her a round of applause for that. <laughs> I wish I could be ballet as a child so I could be that flexible because I'm really not flexible. <laughs> I'm so, so proud of you. Honestly, look at you today. You're glowing. You're proving everyone that you're so, so determined to take hold the next supernational crown for the Philippines. And I know you're capable of that. I know you have all that it takes to be that exceptionally empowered Filipino that she is. And to you, Rahid, um, I watched your video. And although we may not be close, I saw you as well at the screening, and I saw you have a bubbly personality. You, you stand out among others, and I kind of relate to your video, because that transformation of yours is really amazing. And I used to also be overweight, chubby before, but um, after joining pageant, finding confidence in myself, I really started to take care of myself, and I think you're really inspiration for that, for men as well, because I think we focus a lot on women's bodies that we also tend to forget that men also, you know, they need self-love as well, and it's really, really important. And I think it's amazing that you're going to be showing that on the international stage, and you're going to make the Philippines proud as well. So good luck to you guys. We're all rooting for you. So guys, please support them on their journey as they head to Poland very soon. Thank you very much, Gwen. Yes, um, just to begin 2022, actually, it's the banana month in April. Hello, everyone. So, I also have been training alongside Gwen. I'm Gwen. Allison. Oh. I'm sorry. What did you do? Allison, for the past six months of Ladies and Queens, as soon as I saw her, I thought she was stunning. And I gotta say, you and your ballet body, honey, my goodness. <laughs> so a few things that maybe not all of you know about Allison, aside from the fact that she is such a genuine, compassionate, and consistent person, and she knows all kinds of beauty hacks from being a ballerina. I don't need to share some, but you know what I'm talking about. She sings when she is trying to find things in her room that she can't find, and she also loves McDonald's. Allison, I love and adore you so much, and you know, her and I were both actually pageant newbies. This was the first pageant that we ever joined, and I have to look up to her because she handles pressure so, so gracefully. So as you move forward, you're already our flag bearer because you're the first one of us competing internationally, and we will continue to look up to you. I love and adore you so much, I have so much respect for you, and I will always continue to learn from your example. Reed, I don't know you that well, but we've met a couple times before. <laughs> um, I recognized you because he's a really tall guy, right, at the, at the screening. We also met when we were early at a fitting at one of our favorite designers and my uncle, Rao Blaza, and we spoke a little bit. Even if he didn't admit that he was appointed Mr. Supernational, I could read it all over his face. So it came as no surprise to me. And from watching your video, I was very astonished at how relatable you are. Because something that all of us beauty queens go through is we're often picked apart and put down for our appearances, even for other parts of our personality that we may feel proud of, but other people may look down on. And the fact that you are so unafraid to share that, along with share your personal courage of how you overcame any adversity that you faced, even if it was in your own body, to come in to be more confident to represent something, to stand for other people that have gone through the same thing, that's really, really admirable. So I wish you the both the best. Sorry. I wish you both all the best. We're very proud of you, and we really look forward to seeing how you continue to strive, thrive, and inspire other people. Thank you very much, Ashley, for that very helpful message. It's 2022, Ingrid Santa Maria. Allison. <laughs> Hi, Reid. Um, I'll start with Allison. Allison, I met you 
earlier this year and we didn't know that we were both gonna try out for Miss World and become candidates and eventually become sisters. And the nicest thing about you is that you have the funniest laugh. <laughs> Allison, everybody always tells us that we look like twins and sometimes I see it when we laugh. Um, <laughs> Sample. Allison is... Sample now, Allison. Sample. <laughs> Actually, I can copy it. <laughs> 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 Allison, you always bring a light into every room that you walk in through. You're sweet and kind, but we know you're a fighter, and we know that this challenge is just another one of the books for you because you have gone through so much already, and I've seen you fight, and I've seen you get that crown that you deserve, and I hope that you know, going into this journey, just like what Justine said, you just enjoy and you just have fun because it is once in a lifetime. And for you, Raid, I met you at the John Robert Powers. Um, what what was that called? We had a full day workshop, and it was so nice to see you be able to answer the questions and to ask us for help. And if you ever need anything, know that we are all here for you, and we are here to cheer you guys on. So. Good luck, and I hope that you guys carry the Filipino flag with pride because we are all already so proud of you. Uh, thank you very much. So, Francesca Beatriz McLellan. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Hi Radine, hi Allison. I'm so proud of you. Can I just say, I've been training with Allison since the start of this year with Aces and Queens, and I really... Wow. I really look up to you as an ate to me, you know, like she mentioned before that it was her first time joining a pageant, but she's like a veteran na talaga, because she's just really so graceful with the way she walks and the, with the way she speaks, she's so articulate, she's really, really smart, and I really I learn a lot of things from her, and for Raid, uh, I know we haven't really, you know, had that conversation before, but based from your video, I really look up to your um, advocacy for bullying and for, um, what's the other one? Yeah, child abuse. And I think that's really something that we should talk about, not only here in our country, but also internationally. So good luck with that. And I know you'll bring wonders in the pageant and you'll bring home a crown, definitely. And especially you, Miss Supranational. I'm just so very proud of you. You really are an inspiration, not only to me, but to every one of us here. And I really wish you both the best. Good luck. Love you. Thank you, Dea. Good luck and good wishes to both Allison and Raid. So starting with Miss World Philippines Charity 2022, Cassandra Chan. Cassandra. Yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. I just want to say thank you all for coming today. And my message for Allison and Raid. Um, I just wanted to say that when I had my pageant journey, I didn't have a lot of time with Allison. It was only during the uh, last two weeks that we got together, and I could tell how disciplined and how beautiful her heart is. And I just want to say, as a ballerina, we're both ballerinas, of course, I could understand how much discipline and work ethic that she has. And I know that she will bring this to the Miss Supernational stage. And I'm just so proud of you. I actually got teary-eyed watching your introduction video. It was so beautiful. And being a dancer myself, I know that you will bring these values uh, to uh, abroad. And I'm just so proud of you. For Raid, of course, he is my good friend. And I know what a genuine soul he has. I know you will bring this abroad as well. And Raid, all I have to say to you is that I'm very proud to know you. Because here's a little story. Um, during our, uh, our screening, I met him during uh, when we were lining up to, with Ate Krishna and it was one of the nicest things because he came up to me and he talked to me and I knew that this this person has a genuine soul. So thank you for being my friend Reddy and of course to Allison as well. I wish you the best and I know you will do well. So thank you and uh, God bless to you, especially on your flight on June 25. Okay, round of applause for Cassandra Chan once again. Thank you so much, Cassie. All right, next up we have the Miss World Philippines Tourism 2022, Justine Belizarte. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. 
Thank you, Kingsford, for hosting the event. And it's nice to see everyone again after Coronation Night. But Allison, here it is. I know that you only had two weeks, I think, or less than to prepare for this, but that really just shows how hardworking you are and how much grit you have to be wanting this. And to represent the Philippines is such a big honor, and I think that you will do amazing on an international stage. And I know that this is your first international stage, so seeing as you've already prepared and as someone who's joined a couple of times, it's really best that you enjoy the journey because it's once in a lifetime and really, you know, like what you did here with Miss World Philippines, you just showed your true self, be authentic, like the Miss World Philippines vision and mission is. And for uh, Aid, I met you briefly at the John Robert Powers um, event and I know that you're very eager to learn and that you're hardworking and by the looks of your videos, you have a lot to offer as well as you, Allison. So I'm super excited for the both of you and we will be cheering you on every step of the way and watching all your videos and we'll be liking all those Facebook posts, whatever you need us to do, guys, we have to support them but they can win the multimedia challenges, Deba. Right? So I'm so excited for you and I know you'll make us all very, very proud. Thank you very much, Justine. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Justine. I just want to say, like what Ashley mentioned earlier, your video is really relatable and I think it's really going to be your, your biggest strength as you come into this international competition because I think that as um, beauty queens and kings, a lot of people tend to put you guys in pedestals and because of that, you know, they think that you guys are just too far-fetched and you're not relatable anymore. So I hope that you get to remember that and you get to bring that in your international journey, and I'm just so excited for you. I really feel it in my heart and every vein that you're gonna take home that crown. Okay, Allison, um, I'm gonna keep this short because I don't wanna be like a mobbing meme here. I feel like I'm gonna be a meme after this. But you know, I'm such a crying queen. I mean, we've worked together in Aces and Queens since January, and I know, I personally know all the battles that you had to struggle with. And I had no doubt in my mind. I'm about to host you guys. <laughs> I had no doubt in my mind. Like this really came as no surprise for me. I really know in my heart and in my mind and in my soul that you were really gonna win something. And I'm just so glad that it was the Miss Super Crown because I feel like this suits you so well. And I know that you're gonna bring home that crown. And I was telling Allison, guys, um, like when she won that crown, I was like, Allison, Cha, Cha is also one of my closest friends. It's usually the three of us. So I was like, Allison, I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell you already right off the bat that Cha and I are gonna be hanging out, but we're not gonna include you in it first because you're gonna be so busy with the Supra. But when you win that crown and you come back here, then we can go all out again and eat, you know, on EK barbecue. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just so excited for your journey. I'm going to send you my long message, more heartfelt message. I really don't want to cry right now, so I'm going to send it later. But I'm so proud of you. Um, I have no doubt that you are going to take home that crown. I know how hard you worked for this, and I'm just I'm just so proud of you, honestly. Okay, that's all for me, guys. <laughs> <laughs>